Oh, you're on a mission. Oh, it's been one of those days. So why no work? Well, I was meant to have a day off to spend with Rebecca and she's disappeared with her friends. Uh, Martin said she'd been giving you a bit of a hard time. No, not really. She's just, you know, like all kids, has her moments. Yeah. Sounds like she's been uh, keeping you on your toes. Liam? Right, can you put the kettle on, please? Make a cup of tea for your old nan. Oh, hello, darling. What are you doing here? I've come to move in. Hey, I've been trying to call you. Rebecca's in the front room. What? She's just turned up, declaring that she's going to move in, and she won't tell me why. Sonia, don't worry, I'll sort it. Uh, what's, what, why is she here? What's, what's happened? Nothing's happened. I'm really sorry. We're going home. Well, just like that? I mean, some idea of what this is all about would be nice. Yeah. You apologise to your mum. No, mama. I don't need apologies. I just want to make sure you're all all right. No, we're fine, all right? She's just being silly. We're going to go home, all right? Listen, listen darling, if, if you've got a problem, you can talk to me. Why is everyone making a fuss over nothing? I've been drinking. What? Well, you stink of wine. What's that got to do with anything? Look, if anything's going on, I just want to know. It's not, all right? She's just being silly. It's no big deal. Oh, I'm sorry, we're going to get the tube, we're going to go home. Come on. Mum. Where is it? Tell her, Mum. Tell her what you said. What did you say? Sonia? She said... She said her and Dad would split up if I went to music school. That isn't what it sounds like. Liam, can you take Rebecca into the front room, please? Liam. You, kitchen. Uh, look, should we back the telly on? I'm not going back. It doesn't matter which way you try and twist it, Sonia. You emotionally blackmailed the kid. She's exaggerating. Well, so you didn't say that? Sonia, what, why didn't you come and see me? I'm, I'm always here. You know, instead of laying it all on Rebecca. Because she's the only thing keeping me and Martin together right now. Don't be silly. Do you think he'd still be around if we didn't have Rebecca? Look, Martin has changed. So have I. Look, I don't know how to put us right, but what I do know is keeping my family together is more important than some stupid place at a music school. I didn't know things got so, got so bad with Martin. Why didn't you tell me? <sighs> like I'd come to you for relationship advice. I'm well with you, all right? But you're the one who's making this about me and you. Yes, and what do I know? Because I'm just your mum and her nan. Oh, there you are, twisting it all around, making it about you, and you wonder why I didn't no, tell you. No, that's not what I'm doing. Because it's not about me or you or Martin. It's just about Rebecca. And I'm not the one being selfish and making my daughter choose. Get your stuff, we're going. No, you're not. Mum, please just leave this. Have you got the number for that music school? That is not fair. Um, no, don't look to your mum. I'm asking you, have you got the number? No. Right, well, we'll get it. Liam, go and get your laptop. Cos if you're not prepared to think about your daughter's future, then I will. I didn't mean to upset you like I did. You know, your nan's right, I was being really selfish. I'm so sorry. I should never have said the things I did. Yeah, you were wrong, Sonia, really wrong. I mean, look at her. You can't play her like this. It's not fair. I've said I'm sorry, Mum. I should never have made you choose like that, ever. Listen, darling, if you, if you want to go to that music school, then we'll get it sorted. You know, we'll get them to give you another audition. Yeah, look, here it is. So that's it, yeah? Yeah. If that's what you really, really want. Of course it's what she wants. And me and your dad, we'll do everything we can to support you. No. Uh, I don't want... I don't want to go. You haven't got to say that, you know. Because of me, if that's what you really, really want. Listen, you don't have to feel guilty about all the unkind things your mum said. No, I don't want to go away. I want to stay with you and dad. Tea time soon. Why don't you 
stay enough something to eat. What's Liam and Rebecca doing? I think Liam's showing her some game on his laptop. It's funny, isn't it, to think at her age you were really into your trumpet. That was different though, wasn't it? I know, but you'd have loved the opportunity that she was offered. You can't leave it, can you? I'm just saying, you know, you'd have wanted to go and, and I would have supported you. Yeah, well, it's done, isn't it? Because she doesn't want to yes, go. because you manipulated her again. You're unbelievable. You know, whatever's going on with you and Marty, you've got no right to mess with that girl's dreams. I'm not doing this again. Rebecca, we're leaving! Be a good mother and put your kid first. You complete and utter hypocrite. Oh, look, please, what? can we just stop this? When did you ever put us first? You're always too busy chasing after the next bloke. Well, that's not true, isn't it? Dan, Alan, David. We never knew who was around that dinner table. Our new dad. <laughs> and what about my dad? I've never even met him. So, unlike you, I want to make my marriage last, not chuck it away at the slightest opportunity. I want to fight for what I've got. I'm not Bianca or you. Kick one bloke out and wait for the next one to turn up. I think my marriage is worth fighting for. And if my daughter wants to help me, then I don't care what you or anybody else thinks. <laughs>